Everyone thinks that saints are great, and I agree, and so I made a saint of Roy, because he was great to me. St. Roy Have you ever heard of my dear St. Roy? Well, let me tell you about that boy. He was born in 33, and he always thought that he was free. If you call epilepsy being free, then you understand this thought from me. You see, every time things hassled him, the zombie state just made him dim. Then the seizure came along, sometimes soon and sometimes long, and then the hurt when he came to. The loss of control was all he knew. Now you can imagine how you would feel if you lost three days. You learned to be real. And so he learned that the way to be was love and be happy. And he taught it to me. But I didn't listen while he was alive. He was 40 that June when he died. When I was 40, I wanted to say that I'd finally learned to get ready for that day. Whatever frustrates you, pains you, or aches you, remember control, or it'll take you, it'll get hold and make its mark, and you will be left in the dark. Roy always felt guilty when he had a fit. Though he had no control, people thought he was lit. They would treat him bad and make him cry. And I sit around and I wonder why. How can we people be so bad when all we've got is what he had? You go to school and every time you think a Caesar comes on and you add another link and pretty soon you've got it figured out. Love and be happy is what it's about. There's nothing else that we're here for. Just love and be happy. It's an open door. Roy never got upset. He never got mad. The patience of Job was what he had. He lived with me for seven years, and I probably killed him with all of my fears. The doctors weren't great. They fixed him, you know, with drug addiction. They're a little slow. With their medicine, it took three days before St. Roy was back where it pays. So St. Roy and I came to a conviction. We didn't want drug addiction. The kids kept talking and saying, please try a little pot. We'll mellow your cry. Finally, we tried a little weed. We found that weed is what we need. It was like three hours to come out of the haze of a seizure on grass instead of three days. The seizures were softer with less of a bite. The slow motion action made the muscles less tight. Uh, but finally his heart couldn't take any more. Its weakened condition caused an uproar. One sunny Saturday he sat by the pool. The seizure, it killed him. He was a jewel. He had five kids. I was his third wife. He certainly lived a lot with his life. St. Roy, a Denny, was quite a man at hard-working labor with cheeks of tan. He lived what he thought was the right way to be. He was right, you know, but I couldn't see. To tell it all now feels good to me. He was right, you know, and now I can see. You say to yourself, what right has she to feel his spirit? Why not me? But we all can feel, every one of us, whatever we want, without any fuss. So jump right in and help yourself. St. Roy has plenty. He's kind of an elf. He comes and he goes in and out of my life, always leaving good feelings, never strife. He knows I can talk. I've got something to say. He's put it together. He's here every day. So don't let your thinking get you all sour. You're as psychic as I am. You have lots of power. And let all the bad melt away into time. Think of your life. It's worth more than a dime. Think through past your mind and into your heart. Follow your feelings. Get into your part. Be good to yourself. You can't love if you hate. And like yourself. Have peace in you, mate. He died. And it was the morning of the funeral. I was in the shower uh, trying to get ready and trying not to think about everything. And all of a sudden thinking became so important that I needed to write down the thoughts. And I ran out to my table all wet and trying to write. 
words that I had no idea. They were running down my arm and out of the pen and onto the paper, and, and my arm is moving along, and I'm crying because it's absolutely scary. I didn't know what was going on. And I wrote and I wrote page after page after page, and then they all came and they took me away to the funeral, and they kept me busy all day and all night. And the next morning, I got out of bed and I walked out to the dining room and I looked at all these rumpled up papers that had now dried on the table there and I said, oh my God, what is this? And I started reading to my friend there and I was absolutely amazed. Listen to this. Think of each moment that's in each day, then think of your thinking, don't let it decay. Remember survival is for the fitness. You are your own, your very own witness. You see all around you a lot of frowners. Well, they'll give you nothing but a lot of downers. So fight for yourself with a smile inside. And your head can't work right if your body died. Your body must work like a smooth oil machine now, preventative maintenance and a super good clean. Because we're born alone and we die alone too. And in between we see just a few of all of the souls that we really do know. And they try to tell us which way to go. When we feel good inside for every thought, then we like ourselves and we just can't be bought, which means that your head is screwed on straight. You got to start with yourself now, not with your mate, because when you are your really very best friend, then you like yourself and there is no end to what you can do with that peace inside. Unless you are proud, you cannot guide, and guiding each other feels so good. It's kind of like sunshine we would if we could, and so we can brighten up each day with smiling people and a roll in the hay. Huh? It's fun to think today I'll die. It makes me learn how to try, see how to try, and how to lie, and how to cry, and how to die. You made your decision in a body you are, but you are much more both near and far. To get loose from your body, there's two ways to go. Complete your karma and forget about dough, or wrap yourself up in this material life and let your body take all that strife. See, whether you live short or long, you are all that you take along. Oh, I can't help thinking about all of you who think a long life is what you should do, but I don't agree. Long isn't the answer. It's in the quality, just like a dancer. It's what you put in and what you get out that keeps you happy. Without a doubt, you put a lot into becoming matter. Like a good cake, depends on the batter. You hate to realize that you have died, completing nothing, not even tried. So check out your karma. Look into your head. The key word is love, because we're a long time dead.